It's a bittersweet symphony, this life. You're a slave to the money just to make ends meet and then you die. That oh, well. And I'm not going to bore you the details because it is boring. It's really boring. It's boring me. And, you know, it's getting on now. It's about... It's ten to six now. Just left. I'm hungry. And somebody's recommended a place, and it's fairly local to Reading. It's in a place called Cavisham, or Cav, Cav uh, Park Village, I think it is. Anyway, there's a kebab shop there, so I'm going to go and get a kebab. I'm going to go and see if it's as good as people have told me it is, and um, yeah, hopefully cheers my day up a little bit. But um, yeah, got a couple of things to say in this as well, this video, and. I've had a I've had a couple of requests and I'm gonna get I'm gonna give someone a shout out anyway. So anyway, we go get a kebab and then we'll we'll do a review on it. Right, so I'm here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run in here and I might even get a curveball, but I'll tell you what that is later. And I'll give you a quick shot of where I am. It's really busy at the moment, but I'll give you a quick shot anyway. So that's where we're going. We're going over there. We're going to the Turkish Grill. Right, okay. So I've got it. What? A, well, I'll tell you what I went for in a minute, but the one thing they did do, and this lets them down, is there's four of them in there, and they plated my kebab up, and the guy, one of the guys' one job was to put some chips on, and he had one portion of chips on the entire order, and they were mine. So I noticed my kebab was dished up, wrapped up, in the bag, and the guy stood and put the chips on. The other thing I noticed was someone else had got in there, obviously a local, because they knew him. And he went, yeah, and he ordered some kebabs. And then he disappeared. He said, oh, it won't be a minute. He came back with some chips from the fish and chip shop next door to it. So something tells me that they can't maybe time it right. I don't know. Because um, it did look good in there. It looked really good. Um, they, were, they were actually a Turkish family by the look of it. And... It smelled amazing and everything was done on char grill and off the spit and I like all that so it was a homemade chilli sauce as well and I've got part of that so let's hope let's hope it's not ruined by having to wait 10 minutes for the chips right okay so what I was going to talk about before I unpack this I'll tell you what I've got I just wanted to talk about something that has arisen and what I wanted to talk to you today about is hygiene ratings <laughs> now it has come to my attention that some people want to see what, what hygiene ratings a lot of these places have got. Now, this particular place had a hygiene rating of four, um, and it's out of five, so it's a pretty high one, and to be fair, it did look pretty decent, and it smelled amazing. A little bit gutted about more kebab sitting there for so long, but, you know, it remains to be seen, doesn't it? So... I'm going to give someone a shout out now, and it's a shout out to, to, to someone who's who's been following me since since the start of this channel, and is one of my my biggest followers. So this is a big shout out to Grant and his missus or his wife Emma, and they're from Cambridge. Now I'm going to talk about another thing quickly, which is coming up in the next I would say seven uh, sorry six to eight weeks. I'm going to try and squeeze it in somewhere there. And these guys are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I'm going to go to Cambridge, and I'm going to go and... Well, I really want to have a go on a van called called uh, Buffalo Joe's. So, um, what I'll do is I'll get that arranged, and, um, yeah, hopefully we'll meet up there. And I'll hopefully, hopefully have some merchandise with me as well. So, you, you know, if you've got a Mighty Mansfield hoodie on, then you might be able to strut around puffing your chest out like a prize peacock. But anyway, that's going to come up um, in a later video, so let's get on with this review. So I might as well start with the chips, because they're the hottest thing at the moment. And I've got to say that these guys are decent, like, you know, they're decent sized portions, although this was 16 quid. They just could have timed it better. Yeah, that looks good. And the garlic sauce, that, um, that does smell really nice, to be fair. They're all right. <laughs> they look better than they are, actually. The garlic sauce is lovely. Homemade. I don't know if you know, these chips are a bit like, um, they look like a coating. A certain fast food chain does it as well. It's like a potato start starch kind of coating. It makes it go crispy. They're not my favourite chips I've ever had. They're all right. I can now see why that other matey went to the chip shop next door. So we'll have a little go on this chilli sauce of theirs. 
I wrapped it really tight actually, I was hoping to reuse this bag because I won't eat all that. And I only tried this because it was a homemade one. And to be fair, this actually temperature is warm as well. So if I go back there, I'd probably get the chili sauce on the kebab and get the pot of garlic sauce separate. Spicy. And a little bit of mint coming through there, but it's not yeah, in the best I've ever had again. All right. So this is the kebab, and what I went for was a... I went for a mixed kebab of Donna and Sheesh, and that's what we got there. So, I've got all the salad, there's the Donna meat. So I will say the portion size is pretty decent, I'm not going to lie there. You know, it's alright, it's cold, I just picked it up, it's cold. Which is a real shame because the flavour's there. So there we are again, that's basically what it is. I mean it's a great size, good size portion. And then obviously you've got your chilli sauce with it. Trying to get everything in the shot, obviously. So, right, I've got to say something now, and this is quite serious. I got a funny taste of perfume in that chilli sauce just then. And I've just tasted it again on this, on the salad. I could taste perfume, so it's got like, um, one of the chaps is obviously wearing some sort of cologne or something like that, and it's... Unfortunately, I can taste it in the kebab. i going to try and hide that perfume you taste with, with some of the chilli sauce, but I've got to be honest, yeah, that is good, that's all. The meat's quite nice. Yeah, all I can say is what a shame. You know, it wasn't cheap. Fundamentally, it's there. But you can't forgive the taste of perfume in food. Not when you're doing it as a, as a profession. I mean, the salad... Super fresh, super really good. The Donna meat, however, is cold, stone cold. In fact, this had the potential of being half decent. I think these guys should have paid a bit more attention to what they were doing. Got to say, it's um, super fresh salad, but yeah, it's been let right down by the cold meat in there. But then it would be cold, it was sat there for 10 minutes while they cooked the chips. So this is a huge portion, um, but I would go for quality over over portion size. I mean, it does. It's not a bad kebab, but uh, I want to try them again. But I would go just for the kebab and, and not bother with the chips. But that perfumey taste that's putting me off big time. I can't. I'll be honest. I can't taste it now. But I'll put all the chili sauce on there. So right, okay. Um, I'm going to go home now. I've got to have a think about what I score this because there was a lot of flaws with that. Let me drive home. I'll bring you back. We'll have a, I'm going to, have to do another beer in a week. I'm going to go in the garden because it's been a long day. And I'll score, I'll score that, um, I don't even know what it's called, Turkish. Oh, it, it, it was kebab shot. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll go home. I'll get beer in a week and I'll tell you what it is and I'll score it. Right, okay. So, guys, I'm back in my back garden now and... Um, Beer of the week, which is an unfiltered Stella Artois. Very nice. Don't mind if I do. Now I've got to sort. I've got to talk about what I just had then, because that was a real shame. And I'm going to have a look quickly and tell you exactly the place, because I can't actually remember what it was called. Yeah, so this place was called the Turkish Grill, and that's in Emma Green, and I didn't enjoy it. There's various reasons that I didn't enjoy it. A, I was going to mark it down on the fact that the chips weren't done until my kebab was wrapped in the wrapper, in the paper, and in the plastic bag. I mean, it wasn't that busy. There's four of them cooking. And I saw them say, where's the chips to this mate? He, uh, he hadn't done them. So someone else got on them, and he got told off, and then he just went and laid on the counter. But that doesn't help me, does it? So... I was a bit taken aback by that, I thought that was a bit. I would say it smelt great, the charcoal stuff was great, bread looked great. But what really let it down was the taste of perfume on the food. <laughs> that, that, for me, that is unforgivable. You can't do that. You know, it was a big portion, I'll give them that. 
and but it was about 16 quid and I didn't have a drink with that so yeah for me I think it's unforgivable to, to you have like aftershave or cologne or whatever is on you getting onto food well you're in the hospitality industry you know you've got four star you've got four uh, four out of five rating on hygiene um, so you should you should have some idea of what you're doing um, so anyway I've got to score it I didn't score it because I was just so taken aback by that that's the first time I think that's ever happened to me it, it happened once before I came out of a supermarket uh, well it was like a corner shop and um, when you swigged out a bottle you got that same sort of perfume you taste and you know all right, it's a bit different there you used to wash the bottles when you come in and it was alright but when you go into a takeaway and you come out and you eat it and you can taste that <laughs> yeah that really really put me off so had that not have happened it had that not have happened and it was just the fact that they decided to cook my chips after my kebab was already in the bag I would have scored them I would have scored them a 7 out of, seven out of 10 because the re the elements were all there they just need to start caring a little bit again because someone at some point when they instigated that shot they did care, you can tell the chilli sauce was so made it wasn't the best but then it was tainted by this taste wasn't it so yeah, I'm going to score that given on what I had and the taste that did have perfume in it. <sighs> Let's score it five. I'm not going to score it lower than five because that's uh, below average and they are above average had that not have happened. But it did happen. And I was there and it ruined, ruined the experience. So, you know, I've got to say, if you're going to go there, I, I've got to be honest with people so that if they get that, you know, I've already told you it happens. So, you know, it's it's a shame, but that is what it is. Now I'm gonna have a little go on this quickly. So I've got a few. I've got a camping trip I've got in in mind um, for next week. I'm hoping my my business colleague comes back and means I can take a bit of time off. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of politics happening where I am at the moment. So I've now been asked to stay there and mediate and. Oh, yeah, that's great, but at the same time, I don't get any time off. But that's my problem, isn't it? I'm not going to bore you with that. So we have got a camping trip coming up. And like I say, I'm going to go up to Cambridge. And again, big shout out. Cheers to Grant and Emma. I know you've you followed me from, from the beginning and, and supported my channel, and I really appreciate that. So... You know, shout out to you guys, and hopefully soon we'll actually meet up. Um, you know, I've obviously spoken to John a bit about it, but yeah, I really, I really want to go to this Buffalo Joe's. Um, I believe it's a chicken place for anybody who doesn't know, um, but it does look good, and there's a massive food scene. From what I can tell, the last time I was up in Cambridge, so hopefully spend a bit more time up there. So anyway, I'm going to leave it on a good note. Uh, cheers, guys. Cheers for watching, and hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.